The way from a primary that will narrow down who will be the next person to lead as mayor in St. Petersburg. And over the next few weeks, we are introducing you to the eight people running for St. Pete's top spot. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck is talking to candidate Pete Boland, the owner of three businesses in downtown St. Petersburg. We'll get started here probably about a uh, half an hour. People and heads up three taverns, the Galley, Ships Hold, and Mary Margaret's Old Irish Tavern. And he says he's proud he didn't lay off a single employee during COVID-19. I really want to fight for the little guy and for small business, and I just uh, I can't describe how much I love St. Pete. Bullen says his focus will be on lowering taxes and serving as a champion for small businesses. The reason why I'm running for mayor is because I want quick action. I did not feel comfortable with the with the cautious approach of some of those career politicians that are up there. Bullen wants to pave the way for affordable housing in a city where housing prices have increased more than 60% in the past five years. He also wants to focus on keeping the Rays in St. Pete. I would say we're in the ninth inning now. If we want to save pro sports for Pinellas County, we have to act now. We have to move quickly. I'd like to get a regional approach together. But all of that, he says, comes second to protecting our environment. Affordable housing, the Rays, everything else, none of that's going to matter if our Bay and Inlet waters are poisoned in a, in a dead zone where we can't swim or fish or boat in. So we need to make sure that we're, we're taking ownership of these problems like that. In St. Petersburg, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.